body bags were whore lies. What's up, everybody? Welcome to week 102 here on Body Bags. I am your host, Mood616, and thank you once again for stopping in on the Sunday, guys. Yeah. Alrighty, week 102. And for this week, I decided to go with a film that I just recently got in. I've seen this film before, uh, actually years ago. I had checked it out. Couldn't quite remember it so much. Um, of course, it was released by Code Red from 1983, and it is called Sweet 16. So you pretty much know what that is entailing right there. Um, so getting into the storyline of this one, basically it follows uh, your main character, Melissa. Um, she's just moved into like this small little Texas town with her father, uh, away from the big city. Now the thing with Melissa is that, uh, you know, she's 15 years old, but she's very, very mature for her age um, and very pretty. Pretty much all the guys at school want a piece of her. All the girls hate her because they're they're very jealous of her and stuff. But the thing is, she's very mature and she's kind of kind of different from everyone else and stuff like that. Um, so basically, upon arrival, like she's got her dad is very very protective of her and stuff, and he's just got his own kind of weirdness going on with him too. Um, but of course, after they arrive in the small town, uh, some local um, you know boys and stuff end up getting murdered. Um, and of course she is like, you know, the last one to see a couple of them and things like that. So now there's this huge police investigation, uh, led by, um, Bo Hopkins. Uh, he's the main police officer in this, in this film. He's also got a little daughter, uh, same age as, um, Melissa in this film. And she kind of plays like this kind of like, you know, little PI slash Nancy Drewish type role where, you know, she's infatuated with police and murder mysteries and stuff like that. So you've got her running around trying to figure out what's going on too, along with her father. But this movie, you know, is basically just a huge police investigation mixed in with some some random murders and stuff. So so that's pretty much what the premise of the film is. Now my thoughts on this one. Um Yeah, this is pretty much, you know, when I was watching it, uh it, it all started kind of coming back to me. Um, you know, it's not a terrible, terrible film. It's just not that exciting. That's the thing with this movie. The setup is kind of like, yeah, we've seen this a million times. Um, but it's really not that exciting. It's actually very kind of slow paced. Like I said, a lot of the film has to do with the police investigation and trying to figure out exactly who's responsible for these murders. So you got a lot of that going on. Um, there is a lot of character development in this film. So, you know, I mean, you get to know the characters a little bit because it is quite slow and there isn't a lot of kills in this one. That's the other thing. There's only really not even a handful of kills throughout the entire film. So like most of it is a lot of dialogue, a lot of slow parts, a lot of investigation and just a lot of stuff that is kind of borderline kind of boring. It's not like terrible boring, but it's just not that exciting. It's not a poor it's not a poorly made film either. Uh, it's definitely low budget. The acting is pretty decent in the film, I have to say, overall. It's not so bad. Um, I've seen worse for the acting. Um, you know, it's not the greatest either. It's kind of medium level acting. Um, but the thing with this one, there's not really a whole lot to say about it. It's a, it's a very kind of below average type slasher film. And of course, it has some twists and turns and, you know, the explanation and the outcome of the, the film is pretty kind of predictable. I'm not going to lie. You know, the first time I watched this one, I was like, yeah, okay, I could pretty much seen that coming. Watching it again, it doesn't really help it out, man. Multiple viewings of this one. Not the greatest film in the world. Um, you know, if you're a hardcore slasher fan, this is definitely one that you want to get in your collection. I mean, considering who it was released by, you know, Code Red. And I believe that they actually just announced the, uh, the Blu-ray for this, too, which is coming out. So if you're interested in that, pick up the Blu-ray, I guess. Um, but, you know, I can't fully recommend this film, man. I've never really been the biggest fan. Uh, it was just a slasher film that I was missing from my collection, so I really had to kind of pick it up. But you know, with that said, it's like I said, it's it's not a it's not an A or B, maybe not even a C level slasher, man. It's it's pretty below average. So I'm gonna give this one about a four out of ten. I really can't recommend it. Like I said, like even the kills in this film, it's it's pretty much lacking in kills. But even the kills themselves are really kind of um, they're bland. There's really not a lot there. They're just your typical type stabbings and and shit like that and there's really nothing to it it's just not that exciting so 
Um, and I have to say, the theme song in the song in the movie, uh, Melissa, whatever it is, you can hear it in the background. It is horrible. <laughs> it's a really bad cheesy. Song. I like old, you know, '80s cheesy ballads and shit like that. I'm a sucker for that stuff. But this song is just fucking terrible. It's just awful. Um, but yeah, not a whole lot to say about Sweet Sixteen. It's just below average, and yeah, I mean, if you are really keen on it, maybe give it a shot, but like I said, 4 out of 10, pretty much boring, but I had to have it in the collection, so, anyways guys, that's going to do it for week 102 here on Body Bags at Sweet 16 from 1983, I'll check you guys next week, peace out homies.